the language is important and the tone that we set is important. Um, I think for a physician, you always want to be professional, you want to be polite, um, you want to assume good intentions on the other party's part, um, you're always respectful, but you also need to ask good hard questions and not be afraid to you know, push gently but persistently. Um, because being otherwise, you know, loud or demanding or, you know, pounding your fist on the table, it doesn't usually work in a professional setting terribly well. And, and frankly, it doesn't work terribly well in a political setting, ultimately, either. You know, when you look at treaties that have been negotiated across countries, if one country feels greatly disadvantaged after signing the treaty, you know, there are going to be problems. I mean, that's basically what happened to Germany after World War I. Yeah, it signed a treaty, but it didn't hold up very well, and things were worse. So um, you want to be always assuming the best in people, but uh, pushing the, the discussion so that you're clear exactly in what they're telling you will happen, and the documents ultimately reflect that, including your couple top three must-haves and must-not-have priorities.